What's up guys, Magnolia Mo here and today we are going to talk about Odyssey microphone positions. Are you a 3 mic position guy or an 8 mic position guy? Every time I do a video I get comments around the number of microphone positions uh, folks like to use, right? Either 3 or 8 or 6 or whatever, right? And uh, and I see the discussions online as well, like in AVS forum, on, in, on YouTube, in various videos. So I do want to clear up some, maybe some confusion or some misconception, right? Um, a lot of people think that when we talk about the 8 microphone positions, we're talking about the the sitting area, right? Like actual people, you know, where folks are going to be sitting. Uh, or um, they they kind of confuse it with with oh I don't have a spot you know in the in the back and I understand that right uh, if 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 you don't have enough space to take the seventh and the eighth position because Odyssey says take them behind the listening position you can do what I did uh, and I did a video on that you can I'll leave a link to that video you can refer to that video there is a misconception right that when you take more than three measurements, you know, you're, you're, you're moving the microphone in various areas, you're actually expanding the, the radius, right? And, and you're, instead of focusing on the main listening position, Odyssey now starts to go, you know, farther out. It is far from the truth, right? Because you're taking measurements in, a, you know, in an area with an 18 to 20 inch radius, right? Meaning the first position would be is is your main listening position, right? And the next microphone microphone position is is 20 inches or 18 to 20 inches to the left of that. That is not where somebody is going to be sitting, right? That is just the the distance from the main listening position where you're going to take a measurement. Then same thing, 18 inches to the right of the main listening position. So you're again taking measurements around the main listening position to gauge, you know, to give Odyssey the data that it needs to calibrate to that Odyssey target curve, right? It is not. It does not mean that if my brother's going to sit in the, you know, in the couch next to me, I'm going to take a measurement there. Obviously not, right? Because that's not 18. He's not sitting 18 to 20 inches next to me. I'd love him, but. I want to push him farther out, right? So it's not about that, right? It's not the actual sitting position. It's the, you're just positioning the mic in that 18 to 20 inch radius, right? Around the main listening position. So when it comes to your, the, the two positions in the back, seventh and eighth, which, you know, I did a video on again, as I mentioned, I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave a card for that and you can refer to that. But the seventh and eighth position, right? You don't have to put it behind the, the main uh, listening position. You can put it, you know, six inches to the to the left and six inches to the right of the main listening position. You can even take two more measurements, right? So let's say let's say if you didn't want to expand, right, to all the you know to, to the different areas, right? What you could do, <coughs> excuse me, is take your main listening position, take your second, take your third, right, eighteen to twenty inches apart, fourth position can be 20 inches you know in front of the main listening position 18 to 20 inches the fifth position can be you know instead of being it to the to the left of that of the 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 front that I just talked about it can it can literally be next to the main listening position where my head is six inches apart right on this side and this side and then the seventh and eighth can be six inches higher you know, <laughs> then then the prior to reading. So you could do it whichever way you want, as long as you take eight measurements. I think that's the point I'm trying to drive here: is take the eight measurements, right? It doesn't, it does not hurt because you're taking them around the main listening position, around your head, literally, right? Not the people who are going to be sitting around you. The more data you can give to Odyssey, the better your calibrated curve is going to be, right? That's the right way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, by I'm not an expert in Odyssey by any stretch of the imagination, so I don't want you to take that from this video. I'm just giving you the info that I have learned and what I know works in this situation, and I've tried it in many different situations, right? So let's get into some of the readings and the differences. So what I did was I calibrated my system with three microphone positions and eight microphone positions. Then I listened to some 
content, right? Whether it's uh, streaming, streaming movies or physical media, um, just to get an idea about the, you know, the sound. And then I also so went to REW, right? To see what the differences are in the frequency responses for my various speakers. So let's take a look at the speaker detection results for the three mic position versus the eight mic positions. As you can see, the distances are pretty much in line, right? In both scenarios, right? You have a, a few differences here and there, just like, you know, in the point one, I guess, uh, off with the front right uh, here. But that, to me, that's not the big deal, right? So main difference to me comes into play with the actual trim levels. So with the three mic positions, um, given that the front left and right are equidistant, right, from the main listen, listening position, the three mic position set the trim level to minus 3.5 for both of them, which is fine. I don't expect them to be different, right? But with eight mic position, I got minus 4.0. It's a little bit of a difference, but uh, it's just, that's not a glaring difference in my opinion, right? It's just more fine-tuned. Uh, when you look at the center speaker, same. You look at the surround left, surround right. With the three mic positions, the trim was the same for both of them, minus five, minus, minus five. But really, technically speaking, they shouldn't be the same because they're not the same distance from the main listening position. The eight mic position fine-tuned that trim level to be more exact, right? And I did validate uh, these trim levels using an SPL meter. I had to adjust these on the three mic position after Odyssey. In this, in, with the eight mic positions, I did not have to make any adjustments uh, using an SPL meter. So for surround back left and right, uh, minus 3.0. Here it's minus 2.5. So it's just a little bit louder, which is how I like it. Uh, top uh, front left and top front right, minus 0.5, minus 1 and zero on in this, you know, with the eight uh, mic position uh, as far as the trim level is concerned over there. So this one was running hot uh, uh, than, than normal, hotter than norm normal, I guess. So it just uh, fine-tuned it. Again, I went through and validated both with SPL meters, and uh, here I had to make those tiny little bit of adjustments Whereas with the eight mic position, I did not need to. In both the cases, the subwoofer levels were the same, no difference. All right. So, so that's those are just the the differences, you know, from a speaker detection uh, result perspective. Now we're gonna go take it a step further. All right. So let's take a look at the REW measurements for the three mic positions versus the eight mic positions, right? What you see on here is the measurement that I took with all eight positions, right? These are the, this is the LFE uh, for both the subs um, back on the 17th, right, a few days ago. Uh, and just to level set with everyone, uh, I did engage the smoothing just so that we can basically see the, the glaring differences between the two, right? The smoothing is set at one third, uh, oops, at one third. All right, so let's bring in, so this is the LFE boat subs um, uh, with the eight mic positions, and here is the LFE with uh, the three mic positions, right? So the blue one, this is the LFE with the three mic positions. So the right off the bat, right? Uh, if you're if you're following this, you can see that the eight mic mic positions do yield better output, slightly better output uh, in the in in the sub bass region, right between twenty and thirty hertz. Not a lot, not a whole lot. Thirty six uh, uh, dB versus thirty five, so just like a one dB difference in that twenty two hertz range. Um, if I went further down, you know, this is where it's kind of peeling off and, and falling off, but still there seems to be uh, more output, you know, about a dB more as it's falling off also. But uh, let's just go back to our default here, which is 20 to 220 hertz. 
Um, here in the sub base region again you just had that little bit of a difference but then the bigger difference is right about here uh, between 30 and and 50 Hertz uh, you do have better output right you do have better output uh, with with the eight positions and that output translates into like around 40 Hertz the difference is 88.6 DB versus 87.2 so so a DB and a half again that's sizable uh, and you will hear this right when it's getting down to about 40 Hertz you can still still hear the 40 Hertz frequency so so you will hear better output with the eight microphone positions now there is a bump here in the three micro microphone positions right between um, it starts at around 60 Hertz uh, to about 79 hertz right and the and the bump is 87 db versus 85 so 2 db uh higher and maybe this is what folks hear right because you can definitely hear this they they feel that there is better output because you can you can f hear and feel better bass you know between that 50 to to 100 hertz range right um, so given that this is a couple of dBs higher maybe folks feel that that three mic positions sound sound better but really the idea of Odyssey is you need to take as many measurements around the listening main listening position right not the seating positions but the main around the head of the listener so to get the closest to that target curve right so the more positions you can you can take measurements at the better the data is going to be and the better the calibration is going going to be to that target curve right so maybe you just don't like the odyssey target curve but and that's a different story altogether here's the left speaker uh rew measurement and here's the left speaker with the the three microphone positions right this is the three microphone positions and this is the eight this is where more readings you know will definitely benefit from uh, a target curve and from a, a calibration standpoint because there is a loss in output with three db with three microphone positions there is a considerable loss between 60 hertz to 165 hertz right in my room and taking eight measurements brings it closer to that 75 db mark right so again eight positions looking better than three so now let's look at the center speaker this is the eight microphone pos positions and this is the three which has not been smoothed out okay here it is so what does your center speaker do what's the purpose of your center speaker to, to produce better dialogue right so from a hundred and so let's just even start from a hundred hertz down to one one thousand hertz or one kilohertz right eight microphone positions deliver more output you know if you're staying at that 75 db range it's still higher than 75 there there are no dips un, until you get to this point right here 700 hertz but then seven one kilohertz is still better than the three microphone positions right so this is this is where your audible you know dialogue is going to be eight microphone positions is delivering a better output than three microphone positions so i hope you guys got the differences and i and and got what i was trying to get at here right there's not a whole lot of you know there's not a huge difference between three microphone positions and eight microphone positions the differences are subtle right to a point where you know where there's a little bit of a bump you know taking more measurements it evens that bump out or fine-tuning the trim levels right a lot of folks talk about oh I, ha I always have to to go back and adjust the trim levels right yes right sometimes you have to do that right but if you take eight eight you know if you use the eight microphone positions chances that those levels are way off are going to be minimized right you may still have to tweak them but not as much as you had to in with the three uh, microphone positions right as you saw what I illustrated right the what Odyssey got with the three positions was was there but it needed to be tweaked a little bit more which the eight positions kind of did and I didn't have to tweak it anymore right and then the bass response yes you may get deeper bass response with three microphone positions but 
it may get to be a little boomy, right? I don't know. Uh, it, it, it may, it, the point is if you take eight, it's not ruining your base, right? There's that little, uh, you know, those subtle differences where it's evening it out and eliminating some of the bumps and that's all it is. It's, it's doing a better job with the lining, phase alignment, it's doing a better job with the delays, uh, it's doing a better job with the standing waves, right? So all of that gets to be improved with eight microphone positions. So I hope you found this video useful, right? That's the first thing I wanna say. And if you didn't find it useful, let me know. Just leave me a comment, some feedback on what your thoughts are about this video. I'll, get, I'll try to do my best to get back to you, but let's keep the comments civil, right? This is just me trying to, to illustrate what I found in my room and with using REW, what works for me. It may work differently for you and you may still t t choose or decide to do to use the three microphone positions. That's, that's completely up to you. I'm not saying don't do it. I just want to show you what I'm seeing here. All right, guys. So as usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.